Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Hand of Merlin. I'm Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy to have you here with me as we pick up where we left off last episode. It is done. The mighty behemoth has been slain, and Corbanic, Not Corbanic, Has been... Corbin, yeah, I've been mispronounced. I mispronounce everything. Uh, has been saved from the cataclysm. We're going to enter the castle. The lord of the castle comes forth to meet you. His name is King Percival. Once he was a knight of the round table and an instrument of Merlin. But now he has become the Grail King, protector of the secrets of Corbanic. I'm going to humbly greet King Percival. Welcome to my castle, saviors of Corbanic, the Grail King says with a bright smile and embraces each of you. You are surprised to see that he appears young, as young as he was when he first came to this castle, and alarmed to see that he is bleeding from many wounds. I'm going to tell him to find a healer quickly. He laughs. You are the only healers I need, friends, he says, for these wounds were not inflicted in combat. They are the price I pay for helping Merlin craft the Grail. When our world is wounded, I am wounded. If you wish to heal me, you must heal the sickness of the Cataclysm. Yes, we are. I mean, I am well aware of it uh, and of Merlin's plan. Come, let me show you our castle. My, my castle, I mean. Despite the siege, Corbinic is most beautiful. Unlike Camelot, whose beauty is preserved but slowly fading, Corbinic is alive, as if Percival and Merlin had been here only yesterday. As you enter the town within the walls, the P Percival summons his treasure. A reward for our heroes, he exclaims, though blood runs from his wounds without cease. And I get 67 gold for that. A ship will be waiting for you in the arbor in the morning, the wounded king advises you. Until then, the castle is yours to explore. We will, I, I will, make certain that your heroic deeds are known to all. Good luck, friends. I must rest now. I am going to ask him about his confused manner of speech. The burdens of the Grail King, uh, Grail King are many. Some you would not understand, and some I do not understand myself. You have been touched by Merlin as he is now, weak, forgetful, a shadow. When Merlin turned his gaze to me, he was at the height of his power. His eyes burned like a thousand stars. My mind was tossed across time and space, and I saw myself. All of myself, everywhere, forever. We are connected, entangled. You, you cannot understand what we are, what I am. He sighs and then leaves without saying more. The people of Corbinic smile when they see you, treating you like the heroes you are. People are singing in the streets, celebrating your victory as well as they should. We can go to a healer, which we can do. The House of Healing is, is a rotunda built by the Romans in days long gone, and its floor there is, uh, or on its floor there, is a great mosaic depicting Apollo Medicus. The mistress of this house is Blanche Fleur, that means white flower, King Percival's wife. Unlike her husband, she has aged, though she remains beautiful. Uh, and we can do some healing. No. Nope. We're not going to do that. Let's go to the market. The market hall in Corbinic is small but lively. Some of the goods traded here have just arrived from lands across the sea, and everything seems to be of the highest quality. And we're going to go visit the stalls. So the prices for supplies are basically all the same all the time. Hmm. There are only a few stalls, but they are well stocked, and the traders are extraordinarily friendly. Perhaps it is because of your role in lifting the siege, or perhaps it's simply because this is Corbinic. Nah, it's the role. Uh, we're going to purchase supplies, just in case you barter with uh, some other things. And we're going to go to the blacksmith. And uh, things are expensive over here. We're going to look into that in a little bit. Let's go to the relic shop and see if we can buy something interesting. Holy water deals six health damage to abominations. Uh, it's very cheap. Maybe it's because it's six health damage. And we got light boots over here. Plus two move. Expires losing all stacks on turn start. What do you mean on turn, st turn start? On use, gain one of swiftness. And you, oh, right, right. You use it. So, yeah, it's on turn end, actually. But it's on turn start because, you know, it's already up. You use it after the turn starts. So, it's, it, it, it makes sense. I understand what it does. Uh, those are pretty interesting. But I think holy water might be better. And we're going to purchase that. And we're going to leave the area. And we're going to go to the blacksmith. And hopefully, we're going to get... Uh, we can't... Get, yeah, I was really going up on that. Uh, pl plus one power, plus one evasion. Or plus three power and minus one move. Uh, I think I'm, I like the... I like the plus three power, minus one move. 
The Bastard Sword. Lovely. And then we have Scale Mail over here for extra armor, which I think is a good idea, honestly. We don't have that much money, but we do need armor at the front. And this one is Plate Mail, which reduces move even more, which I don't quite want to reduce too much, because we're already... It's four. I don't want any less than four, I think. Three is, is going to... Eh, well, the enemies do come to me very often, so... Yeah, let's leave the market hall and uh, retire for the day. A servant of King Percival brings you to a room set aside for you. It is the most luxurious place you have seen in some time, and though your dreams are very strange, in the morning you feel rested and ready to continue. And we're going to board the ship. Matters of France. We have reached Marca Hispanica. Is Marca Hispanica not in the Iberian Peninsula? Mm. Your journey has brought you to the Marca Hispanica, a wild mountainous region between the Frankish kingdoms and the southern land of the Saracens. Oh, it's probably the... Yeah, it's the... the Pyrenees and stuff. No one ruler holds absolute sway here, and the only constant in the lives of ordinary people is war. You must make your way to Roncevaux Pass, and there cross into Al-Andalus. Al-Andalus, I think that is the Iberian Peninsula, and that's, uh, yeah, that's what the, Sal uh, the Saracens are about. The power of the cataclysm is growing. The massacre you find before you now bears testimony to that fact. Hundreds of Frankish knights lie dead, torn apart by abominations. A savage battle was fought here, in which victory was gained only at the cost of total sacrifice. And we're going to approach the survivors. The few survivors, battered and broken, have, ga have gathered around their dying leader. Hmm. By his coat of arms, you recognize him as Paladin Roland, one of the greatest knights of, of this age, and a champion of Charlemagne. His side is torn and blood drips from his lips. When he sees you, his eyes brighten and he gestures for you to speak to him. I'm going to kneel before Roland. I can see. I can see what you are. Roland stammers as blood gushes from his mouth. Margaris was right. Mullen is... Mullen is alive. Take my horn. Find... Find good men willing to fight. Meet my army at Roncevaux Pass. You must. If the pass falls... If the pass falls, we all fall. His eyes fix on something far beyond you. Forgive me, he whispers. And then he is gone. And we're going to take Ro uh, take the horn. It is Roland's horn. You take Roland's horn, famed of song and legend. His surviving men do not object. They nod silently and set out, limping, to prepare for the coming battle at Roncevo Pass, knowing it will most likely be their last. And we're going to continue our journey... Let's look. Not at the Guardian Corps, no, thank you. At the journal here. Because the items. Click to level up. Yes, I will. B uh, what? Now that you're rank four, you can start to upgrade your skills. Read the cards carefully. I don't do that, video game. I'm sorry. Um, the BCRE book, uh, bookmark updated and all that. Good, good, good. Oh, that's how that works. Thank you, because you click on that and you can't undo it. What I wanted to look at is... Oh, there you go. That's the stash. So what does this do? Warm up two turns. Apply a rallying aura around the unit. Applying two stacks of rally. Hmm. And so rally is uh, keen, keen. Hiccup. <laughs> uh... And Keen is plus two damage to the next attack. And this uses no action points. Hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's interesting. But we don't, like, we don't stick together. It's not the kind of thing that I do. In a three-tile radius, though. Oh, three-tile radius is pretty amazing. And does no, a rally does not decay, neither does Keen. So they lose it only when they attack. 
Uh, that's all right. I think the holy water might be better. The holy water does not use action points. Hmm. This can keep uh, can be cast multiple times though. I'm gonna use it in my uh, instead of my bag of tricks. Bag of tricks is nice. But, yeah, I'm going to use it like that. And now, let's look at our skills over here. We have Slash, that deals 7 damage now. I think that's the difference? Or is it because of my power? No, it is because of my power. So, what exactly... The... Now that you're rank 4, you can start to upgrade. Skill upgrades change the behavior of a skill, usually making them stronger, yes. Some skills can change their intended use drastically, so remember to read the cards carefully. You can also hide the cards, allowing you to see what the other upgrade options, or what other upgrade options we, you have. Okay, so uh, let's see how the haste works. It's, I can, uh, that, there we go, okay, we can, I can understand how that works. So, grants two action points to the caster, which is interesting, grants one action point to the caster, and if the caster has a negative status effect, grants two stacks of inspired, which adds power. I like that. I like that. Having the... Let's look at the lunge here. Move to target location, deal 10 damage to all enemies in the... in. Oh, that is what I'm talking about. 10 damage to all enemies. And apply three stacks of dazed. Or this one. Move to target location, deal 10 damage, and apply one stack of bleeding. Which is interesting, but not particularly good. Take one health damage per turn. It's not... I mean, yeah, we don't. We we need to kill the enemies. It's not. We're, we're, we don't let them stick around. To a random enemy, it's also a random enemy in range. Does not prompt reactions. I wonder if that works for bosses as well. Let's go with a thunderous lunge because that is explicitly the thing that I wanted to to uh, to mess with. So let's see, Meadowin now. Meadowin, let's see, Hunter's Mark over here. Applies three marked instead of two. Uh, wait. Damage taken from Meadowin, plus three. Applies three m and two stacks of watch to an enemy. Oh, no, no, no. After the target is killed, gained one charge. Oh, yeah, I don't like that. Uh, let's see. Shoot over here. Deals six damage, deals nine damage to an enemy. This one can scale range. Can scale range with action points. One point five to f seven range. I don't know what that means. Can scale range with action points, but I have the far sight, so I don't want it. I want the heavy shot. Yeah, it's called it's called far shot over here. Heavy shot is what I need for her. And for you, we might want a new singe. This does apply singed, uh, which takes plus two damage from singe attacks. Interesting. And deals 6 damage to an enemy casting... Or can target allies dealing 3 damage and apply three, uh, 6 stacks of keen. Uh, that's interesting. So you can damage your allies for 3, but they do 6 damage to the enemy instead. Why would I want to do that? What's the bonus of that? If it were a lot more than that, I don't know. Restore seven armor, or restore six armor, or twice the, to the same ally. Wait, restore six armor points to two allies, or twice to the same ally. Twice that amount, I assume. Restore seven armor points on ally. It ca if cast on self, restore an additional four and grants two stacks of powerful. Uh, that can make that can that can be good because it, it is more damage. And if I need that extra damage, I like it. It's kind of good. But this one is. Uh, let's go with the quick salts here. Yeah, quick salts is important. I need I need to be able to fix. I need to to be able to keep these guys at the front. Oh boy, what is that button up there? Oh. Yep, that does that. Let's move on then. And let's look at the map as well, because this is a whole new map. I 
well. We're still going from the northwest to the southeast, as far as I can tell. The game is having a little bit of trouble with performance here, as of right now. So that is our objective, right? The Roncevaux Pass. That is indeed our objective. Uh, I'm not going to make too many choices. I see that over there. I'm going to go over there. And these ones don't have exclamation marks. So, you know, let's go to the regular node. Merlin's spirit is guiding you toward a wound in the veil. Through him, you can sense it pulsating somewhere nearby. But unfortunately, you cannot seem to actually find it. All you can see are countless snaking paths in a sea of trees and snow. At last, you realize the wound may be underground. This region is known for its silver mines. So perhaps you may find a way of approaching it. 66% chance of finding an entrance. Let's search for it. Let's choose success. Hey, we don't really do that. Oh, we did that, though. I was trying to choose the middle one. I think I clicked on it before they separated. And <laughs> so that was good. One of the paths is different than the others. Examining it closely, you can see old traces of cartwheels. Following this path, you discover an abandoned silver mine. It must lead to the wound in the veal. Abominations are already spewing forth. To battle, then? Because, you know, that's what we're here to do. And, uh... I'm a little bit... I, I wish... Oh? Oh, yeah. That's the the well-rested in things. I wish we had a little bit more armor, honestly. I really do. So we came from here. Well, it doesn't really matter where we came from. This is just a battle map. We have a thorn toad that has bristleback. Whenever hit by a foe, deal... In, it doesn't say melee damage. Deal four damage to all units in melee range. Yeah, it does. Uh, and Which means that if you shoot it with a... Um, with an arrow, and there's people right next to it, then they will take damage. And gains three stack of thick skin. And then over here we have Elusive and Levitate on the Wyvern, but that's just a Wyvern and a Red Cap. And the rest of the things is just normal. Okay, so does it say to all units within melee? That's pretty good. Because we can use that for to our advantage. Uh, how do I want to do this? It's full cover back here. So I will move you over here first. And I will move you over here second. And how big is the the vigil? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I don't think it's uh, it's good enough. So we have a little bit of cover, full cover over here as well. And uh, let's just keep it. Uh, actually, applies. Yeah, let's do it to you. Because you might actually have to move. And you're a little bit slow. So let's do that. End the turn. Yes, please. Gaze. You did not enter my range. Neither did you. I should have done the other thing. I should have definitely done the other thing. The take aim. I don't know why I didn't. I, I, I like pretty obvious that I should have. But now... Oh, you're not even in range. Oh, that kind of sucks. So, Thick Skin, what exactly does that do? Minus three damage taken from all sources expiring at the start uh, of the turn. Okay. And then you can't do much from there. And then you could do some good things. Wait, does that mean deals 10 damage to all enemies in melee range? Oh, come on. Seriously? Uh, well, we're, uh, hmm. Okay, let's do haste. Uh, it is dangerous to move in there. I'm gonna be able to kill you. Which I do want to do. And dazed. What happened to dazed? Minus three accuracy, minus three evasion. That's, that's pretty awesome. And then we have a slash. It still does damage even though... Wait. No, it died. It absolutely died. Okay. And then we have quick salts. We're probably going to need to move you. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So, yeah. If I move you over here, everything is fine. You might take damage. Hopefully, you take damage. Because that's the distribution of, of damage across uh, my whole team. 22 armor. That's not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Yeah, that's alright. 
distribution of damage. Is, is what I'm saying. This red cap is ranged. It is not ranged. Okay, so you stay there. And you will do a singe. Potentially a brimstone thing. We'll see. Uh, brimstone is looking good. We do have the holy water. Oh, we can kill it, then. Yeah. Uh, maximum charges. That's per battle, as far as I can tell. So, yeah, we can kill it. It's pretty good. Go for it. Really powerful. I actually didn't look at the hit chances, but that was, that was really powerful. Okay, so you're going to hit this guy once, and then with the other thing, you're going to hit it as well. We could do... If... Oh, the heavy shot! Oh, come on. That's bad. The heavy shot has a cooldown of two turns. Hmm. Hmm. When hit by a foe... Keen... It applies Rally... And, uh, yeah, that's not, it's not good. This is not good at all. Oh, man, that sucks. How did I not see the cooldown? Well, I guess we're not going to be able to, to do much. It's not the worst thing. Because we still have Archer's Vigil. So that helps a little. But the problem is that I'm, I'm going to push it away. Archer's Vigil applies? That's fantastic. It really should. I mean, it makes sense, but still, it's uh, it's pretty awesome. Okay. We're totally fine. No damage whatsoever in our armor, or our health, I should say. And we ha have one mana, ten renown, and off we go into the next node. Your journey has brought you to the home of Ermacenda, a renowned healer of this land, who in her youth served in the court of Wayofar. Sadly, only a ruin infested by the creatures of the Cataclysm is left. And we are gonna destroy the abominations? It seems pretty straightforward. I don't think we... we are uh, having any trouble. They seem to be mostly the same level. That's right, they, are, they aren't leveling up, are they? Hopefully not. Either way, this is a bit more of a challenge. We have a red cap, not because of the enemies, but because of the uh, positioning. So you, I want you to do this. Oh, you apply quick to yourself as well? I didn't realize that. It's to all allies in the cone, but it's also to himself. That is, that is pretty good, actually. That is fantastic. So those things are going to attack us. If I attack, I can't attack you with a singe. Okay. So I'll move you over here. And then... Not Brunor. Oh, misclicks! I was doing misclicks! Actually, I thought this was Brunor. Uh, let's see. That's 40% chance to hit. That is 40% chance to hit. Which means... I possibly would benefit from falling back? I think it's the Mandrakes that are ranged. Let's move you over here. And let's do Archer's Vigil. Cause that's gonna that's gonna hurt. That's gonna hit anybody uh somebody. So we're moving you over here and we're attacking you right there. Just with a normal attack. Watched, that's fine. Okay, that's that's fine as well. You know, it isn't ideal or anything, but I'm good. They attack twice. So it is the Mandrake that's ranged, maybe. Uh, that was me shooting. Okay, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's see. So, Thunderous... Yeah, so we're gonna do the haste. We're gonna attack everybody in melee range. Although this is looking pretty grim for that, actually. Thunderous. Because it doesn't... Oh, freaking hell. 
It doesn't seem like you can not move. And not moving here is the only solution for me to, to do this and hit everybody. Otherwise, it's it's not happening. 10 damage to everybody in melee range. That is fantastic. That is just that's incredibly good. However, there's something I can do. Oh. No, no, that's all right. I was going to... Um, I was actually going to push you that way, but that works as well. I'll have to move you. Well, does it work? Does it actually work as well? Let's hit you. Mine has watched. I'll have to move you away. We're going to have to hit chance. Not a problem. We're going to see if I can throw the... Yes, I can. 100% chance to hit on both of them. That's reasonable. And then you shoot this one and do it with a Hunter's Mark. Let me make sure the Hunter's Mark does not use action points. Because I think that's a kill. Yes, it is. Good. Evading plus two after you die. Yeah, that's definitely how it works. And then we have a Singe. Oh, we also broke. Oh, that's fantastic. We killed both of them. Because uh, we, we broke cover. I keep forgetting that it breaks cover. It's incredible. It's really powerful. Uh, fortunately... Oh, hero unlocked. Wilfred, in a single turn, defeat three enemies. Or also known as... Defeat three enemies in a single turn. Mm, that is pretty powerful. The, if you were... Uh, wow. I'm, I'm thinking here. If you know what unlocks each enemy, or each uh, ally, then you can just... You know, try ah, maybe maybe defeat three enemies can be doable early, but like it's a it's a very good trial and error style thing. Or just go for the first few nodes and defeat three enemies in a turn. Unlock the uh, the friendly that you want, or I say friendly, the hero. Unlock the the hero that you want, and um, no reaction shot. That's actually kind of bad. That's that's pretty bad. We'll see. But uh, yeah, it, it it can be. I think it can be abused. Although abused might not be the term, but it can be used. <laughs> it can be used. Let's see. Quick salts. We're going to heal for six and for 12. Oh, you click that multiple times there. That's good. So it's basically two charges on that. Fine. And then we have take aim, uh, which honestly doesn't really matter. Because I will not have line of sight either way. I will have hiccups, but that's just normal. Par for the course. Six. A barrage. Barrage doesn't matter. I don't think. We can do a lunge, but honestly... I would prefer... Let's see what this does. Because hopefully it pushes it away. Yes, it does. Okay, that's a kill. It's much better. Well, I could have maybe killed it just with melee. But there we go. You are victorious, and the wound in the veil is healed. There's a small, if bitter, measure of poetry in this final act of healing. I'm going to enter the house. There is no trace of Hermesenda, but perhaps you can find something useful in the ruins of her home. Yes, we're going to search for mead or bandages. Most likely we'll find not that. We indeed found nothing. Unfortunately, you do not find anything. Perhaps Hermesenda took her most important supplies and left before the abominations came. You hope so, for her sake, even though you don't know her. So maybe maybe you're hoping for good things to happen to a terrible person. I mean, she was a healer, but you never know. Either way, we're out of time for the day. So for right now, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been The Hand of Merlin. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video. But above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.